Mic check one, two. Can you guys hear me now? Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, there we go. Can you guys hear me? Mic check, mic check. Okay, thank you everybody for dealing with that. I, um... I've done a lot of streaming, uh, and I do it with uh, gaming, so I'm setting up my um, exact uh, music stuff 
so I'm still working through all the technical stuff. So I appreciate you guys sticking around, dealing with that. Thanks for letting me know that the rec- the the mic wasn't working. Uh, and yeah, I know it was kind of annoying to keep reading it, but it was helpful that you guys told me that you couldn't still hear it. Anyways, moving right along. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about a project that is uh, very, very exciting for me. I'm really um, looking forward to uh, working with everybody on this. So um, I'm going to go over it right now because the, the title of it, Music is the Drug, Picture Disc, kind of gives you the impression that... Um, it's the uh, original record, but just a picture disc. But it's way more than that. It's actually um, five of like my biggest exact hits, and then one song that was never out on vinyl. Um, I don't know if you really consider it a hit, but it was. Uh, it did come out on a label from Miami called Transient Force on a pretty big compilation with Ox88, if you're familiar with electro music. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go over uh, all the details right now. Uh, what we just listened to is the first song, A1, Music is the Drug. And the second song on the record is actually a song that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, Electronic Dream. Um, so let's go over it. Let's go over... First of all, let's talk about Music is the Drug, the song that just played. Um, Music is the Drug is my first ever uh, solo record. Before I came out with um, Music is the Drug, I had put out some songs uh, as Resident Alien with James Wolfe, and I put out a record uh, called Meta Minds, um, which that song is actually on this record as well, but we'll get into that later. Um, but this is my first exact EP, Music is the Drug. Um, I made it in around ni- like 1999 or something like that. And then it ended up coming out, I think, like towards the end of 2000. Um, so I made uh, the record originally. If you're familiar with the songs on the record, Transfusion is the second song that's on the record. It's actually the original, but somehow the song got erased and I never finished it. But it was in a good enough state that um, I still released it. So Music is the Drug was the final version of the song. Uh, But the, the songs were different enough that we ended up putting them out on the record together. And uh, the artwork was done from an artist from Miami. His name was Clutch. Uh, I came across him. He used to do uh, like rave flyers and stuff like that. And I had a really interesting concept for the artwork um, that, that when we put that together, I'm going to actually go over that with you guys. So this is the original artwork to Music is the Drug. If you're familiar with the artwork, it's probably my most iconic artwork. Um, Ever since I started the label, uh, Monotone, you know, when I I did this on Fragile Recordings, um, you know, ever since I, I began my own label and when I was working with Fragile, we had a real emphasis on doing uh, good artwork for our records. So when this, uh, you know, was getting put together, I wanted to have something uh, really like that stood out for the artwork. So the albums uh, that really influenced this, if you ever heard of this band called Yes from like the 70s, they used to have these like really psychedelic, like alien space, like crazy, like really fantasy uh, images and I actually went to clutch with that idea and said I'd like it to be really colorful and then the other part of it that I gave him was I gave him like he was asking me what I had in mind for like the image and I said something to do with a needle in somebody's arm but not something that you know because music is the drug um, but I didn't want it to be something like that looked 
you know, like somebody using drugs. <laughs> um, you know, so basically, uh, this is what he came up with. Now, if you look at this, this is actually supposed to be somebody's arm. And this is like the hair follicles right here. And then this is like the needle. But the needle's not carrying drugs, it's carrying music. Then you have the headphones here. Now inside that little tube right there, the syringe is actually the wave of the song inside there. So, um, yeah, it was really, really amazing artwork. It came together very nice. Anyways, uh, I wanted to say what's up to DJ Moon in the in the chat. Cameron Stewart is here. Uh, 17 seconds, which is my boy Wayne, Ryan, Angelique, uh, Forrest Meyer, uh, Stephanie, Sean. A lot of you guys have already backed this project, and I'm really excited about that. Um, so music is the drug artwork. Now the the picture disc is actually. Uh, based off of this artwork, but it's a different version of it. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna go over that here in a little bit. Um, this next record that's playing, Electronic Dream. Actually, let me grab the, the record. Hold on one second. Luckily, I had it right here, and I have to go digging through stuff. So, Electronic Dream is uh, the next song that's on the record. Um, now, by the way, Music is the Drug, for those that don't know, that record has not been available for many, 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 many years. Like, you've been able to find some copies here and there, but it's very rare to find that, that record and have that song on vinyl. Um, and this is this record is even more rare because the label that I put this uh, song out on, Electronic Dream, actually threw like five or 600 of these records away because they actually ended up um, like disbanding uh, as a label because it was like two brothers and they got into a huge dispute. And so they took all my records and threw them in the trash <laughs> uh, because the one brother was upset with the other one and he destroyed all of the... Uh, CDs and records so I think there was only like originally maybe 1200 copies of these printed and half of those were thrown away so this is actually a really rare record uh, the main song Electronic Dream is on this record um, and then now the next song uh, A3 Yeah, Ryan, I have a mint copy of that one. Nice, man. Are you talking about Music is a Drug or Electronic Dream? Um, anyways, this next song is Beatbox. Uh, this is a song that I actually made during the same time period of Electronic Dream, Music is a Drug. It was all like within a two or three year period. Um, this Beatbox song... Um, I never really um, found a home for this song. I love this song, but I never put it out on vinyl uh, just because it never really presented itself to put this song out. And then it was like, then you have the new stuff and the new stuff. So you just go ahead and, you know, you kind of like just move on. Um, and then I started working with this artist, uh, AS1. He did a lot of my monotone artwork. If you know the black and white, like monotone artwork phase of like the mid 2000s. He actually um, asked me if I had any old tracks. Like that was his thing. He wanted to get like the old exact sound. So I actually came across this song, which I didn't really forget about, but I kind of just kind of threw it to the side and never really thought anything of it. And when I gave him this song, he was extremely excited about it and he wanted to put it out. So it came out on a CD compilation and digitally on a label called Transient Force. If you're familiar with Electro, uh, Transient Force was a pretty uh, influential label, uh, like in the late 2000s. Uh, DJ Uprock, uh, the guy that 
actually made music with me on Music is a Drug, and I put out, he did a remix of Music is a Drug, and I put a couple of his other songs out. He's actually an uh, essential part of that label uh, as well, Transient Force. So this is the first time you're going to be able to get this song on vinyl. But anyways, let's move it along to the next. By the way, everybody, thanks for coming by. I appreciate everybody coming by the stream. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to say whatever. Uh, you Sometimes when I talk uh, to somebody and I read a comment and you don't see it, it's because I'm actually streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and um, Facebook. Uh, Benoit, when are you going to present for the next one? I don't know why all my comments are coming through twice, okay? I don't know what that means, Benoit. Wolf sold me this record back at Danceteria. You're talking about music as a drug, that's awesome. Sorry, I just missed some of these comments when I was trying to get my mic to work. Okay. Let's go to the next song. I mean, if you're familiar, if you're an exact fan and you're into my music, having all these songs on one record, I mean, what's what's to be said about that, you know? That's uh definitely strong. Yeah, Richard, I actually ended up fixing the problem. It wasn't something that was on YouTube, it was on all the platforms. It was just something I had set up wrong in uh, my stream my stream program. So the A uh, B side, the first song is a song Clarity. Now, something very interesting about Clarity is I actually made Clarity before I made Music Is the Drug. Um, by the way, besides my mic not working, how's the mic sound now? How's the music, etc. Let me know if it's too loud, if it's too low. But anyways, Clarity. Believe it or not, I actually made Clarity before Music Is the Drug. Now. When I made Music Is The Drug, Clarity was actually supposed to be on the record, okay? Spliffy420 with a follow on Twitch, I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, Clarity was actually supposed to come out on Music Is The Drug. Now, what happened with, with it is Music Is The Drug ended up becoming like a concept EP, and I didn't want to put any songs that didn't have anything to do with that uh, content. So Clarity uh, ended up getting taken off the record. And um, sorry, Clarity ended up getting taken off the record because uh, I said to myself, oh, I'll just put it on one of my next records. And then I had another record that was coming out after that a few years later, Speaker Breaker. And I almost put Clarity on the Speaker Breaker record, but it didn't come out on the Speaker Breaker record. In the meantime, Clarity is a song that I used to always play in my live sets. Clarity is a song that was on my Evolve album, which was my first ever album. And... Uh, people wanted this song on vinyl for a very long time. So in 2006, when I started pressing vinyl again, and I started working with a label called Brace Frequency Productions, I actually put Clarity out on that on that uh, record. And there was not a whole lot of copies of this made. So to be able to get uh, you know Clarity again on a record, I've had some requests of people wanting to get that on vinyl again. Uh, you can't really get this record any longer. So to have clarity on this record, again, uh, this is just packed full of tracks. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know if you're if you're vinyl heads and you're wondering, okay, usually I get records and they have two songs on each side. Now, you can have high quality pressings of records with up to 20 minutes. Now. If you only have two songs on a, on a record, the quality is going to be slightly better. But in my mind, you know, for this picture disc, this is not really something that you're going to be wanting to go out in a club and DJ in. Now, the quality of the songs, if you go over 20 minutes, it starts to lose a lot of quality. So I'm keeping it right at 20 minutes. Uh, a couple of the songs that are not um, 
uh, that are that are not like the music is a drug and the electronic dream. Those songs I'm not going to touch, but beatbox and uh, is the only song that's actually going over time. So I'm actually going to edit that song down a little bit to make sure it goes under the 20 minutes to to keep. That's just some vinyl stuff that none of you probably even care about. Um, now, one of the most interesting songs that's on this record, we're going to move to. The music is stepping all over your voice on the floor. Okay. Here, let me turn it down. The most interesting... Sean, that's me. Oh, what's up? Um... The most interesting song for me. Let me know, Ryan. By the way, let me know if the if it's still a, an issue for you to be able to hear me. The next song is "Escape." Now, "Escape" I originally released as Larry McCormick on Anthony Rother's label uh, from Germany, Data Punk. And the only way that you could get this is to buy a triple uh, record. It came out on this record right here. Let's go back over here came out on this record right here called Intellectual We Trust. Um, this record is amazing. Silicon Scally, uh, The Hacker, Billy Nasty, Anthony Rother, The Advent, Dr. Scissors, Johannes Heil, and Alexander Kowalski. Some of the biggest names in electro and techno on this three, uh, three 12 inch record. And this is the only way you could get escape. Um, so I'm putting Escape on this record, releasing it as exact. Don't ask. It's just something that I do. If you've noticed in the past, sometimes I release stuff as Larry McCormick. Sometimes I release it as exact. I release something as Larry McCormick, and then I release it as exact. We'd have to sit down for a couple hours and me explain to you my identity crisis that I'm having with that was as an artist. There's a very good reason for it. It's not something that's uh, just something random. Um, but anyways... Exact Escape is going to be on the picture disc. Um, so there you have it. Uh, the last song is another interesting song to have on here. I think this is, you know, the way that this project up ended up coming together. I never said this in the beginning, um, which is a very important aspect of this project, is I've always had a dream to release a picture disc. I've always wanted to release a picture disc. Picture discs are very expensive to press. I've toyed around with the idea of releasing the picture disc in the past. And actually, when I had a project that I was going to do a picture disc with, um, which was actually Speaker Breaker, City of Base, and uh, I can't remember what else, but it was it was a record that the it was going to have the speaker breaker um image of the back of my head and it was going to be a full picture disc and then the flip side was actually going to have um the artwork from future shock that was the one that's the gears on the side of my head so that was going to be a crazy picture disc it never ended up happening because that's right we around you know 2009 2010 and and the record industry took a dive at that time so I couldn't do the picture disc. So now with crowdfunding and with the way that this project came together as far as taking this iconic artwork and taking these classic exact tunes and putting them all together for this project to me is like the perfect fit. Um, and I thought long and hard of what songs I wanted to put on this. It was not, you know, something I just said, okay, let's just throw these songs on here. This is like for this project, um, a long time of thinking what I wanted to do and the crowdfunding aspect of it is the only way that I can afford to actually do this project when I saw that the website crates had a picture disc and that you could you could only that you could press only a hundred and still fund the project I, I almost flipped out like I uh, you know my jaw hit the floor because in the past you have to press up at least 300 picture disc to make it even a, a close to being affordable and even then when you have those records it's hard to sell those to stores because of the high price so I've never been able to do a picture disc in the past to do a picture disc with this artwork with these songs 
you know, this is the perfect project. And this is probably going to be when it's all said and done. You know, I have a lot of records out there. I have the USBs and everything. When it's all in said and done, this is probably going to be the most collectible, uh, unique item for my releases that's going to be out there, in my opinion. Uh, because of the aspect of the picture disc, there's only going to be about 100 of these that are going to be out there. And that's why I'm, you know, really, if you've seen my Facebook and my Instagram, I'm like really throwing a lot of these images out of this record out there because I need you guys to at least 100 people to get on board and get this record and fund this for it to happen. If I don't get to 100, then it's not even going to happen. And all this is going to be, you know, for nothing. So I really need your guys' help with this. But anyways, let's uh, go over the song, uh, the last song of the record, Metaminds. This is a record that I came out with before Music is the Drug. Metaminds came out on Acceleration. And if you see, Metaminds is actually an alias of mine. Again, uh, don't ask about the different names, etc. But it does say written and produced by Exact. So I actually was um, intending to do Exact. But before I even put out the first exact record, I'm already doing Alias. Like I said, we can sit down on a couch and I can go over the reasons why. Um, but anyways, I ended up releasing this as exact um, on my Evolve album. Yeah, I know, Angelique. I actually turned the music down because somebody said that it was uh, drowning out the drowning out the my my uh talking but anyways meta minds is um also on this from the outside looking in let's go ahead and play that turn it up a little bit let, it, let the music play Yo, who's in the chat right now? Ryan, Angelique, Sean, Richard, DJ Moon, you still up in here? Say what's up, everybody. I know you guys are hitting the likes and stuff like that, and unfortunately, I'm not getting notifications of that. All right, let's see. Uh, Stephanie, Richard, Forrest Meyer, Daniel. What up, Daniel? Cole, Brian Burgess, Benoit. Uh, I see some of you guys have friend requests I'm accepting right now. Thank you for all the reactions. Keep on hitting those reaction buttons. Cameron, my man, that's dude I play do uh, video game streaming with. Nice. Yeah, this is Miami. Miami Heat. Okay, so I'm going to go over the the visual part of this right now, which to me is just as important as the audio portion of it. I already showed you what the cover is. Um, now, even though for the Music is the Drug remixes, uh, this none of the songs from this record appear on this record. I actually have it as the artwork to the B-side. So if you're familiar with this, this is like a remix of the Music is the Drug artwork beautiful artwork if you have this record yeah six tracks DJ Moon um, I'm getting it mastered uh, by somebody that really knows their stuff of being able to put at least 20 minutes on the record I actually have two records that I came out with that are in that format in the audio sounds just as good as a uh, record that has only two tracks on it um so don't be fearful that this is going to be you know just a bunch of tracks jammed on into a record like an old school album or something like that anyways let's go over the artwork part of this oh by the way let's uh let's actually do this okay um, I'm going to put in all the different 
uh, all the different pages. So right here on Facebook, here's a link to the record. Let's go to YouTube. Richard, you're over here in uh, YouTube. You got to hit the like button, my dude. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We have, like, some craziness going on. I've seen streamers do this before. I've never done it before. Crazy stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, King of Cod, I actually have all the all the chats up. Andrew, what's up? How you doing? All right, everybody, the links are there. Okay, here's the page, by the way, when you go there. Uh, I have a little description. Uh, we've done 55 so far, so far, so I need 45 more people in the next 23 days to jump on this project. So I'm really counting on a lot of you guys to come through, the true exact fans out there. I mean, come on. These songs on this artwork, what are you waiting for? Let's get this thing funded. I don't want to wait till the last minute. All right. I know a lot of you guys out there are exact fans and you might have these records, um, but this project is very near and dear to me and we want to make this happen. Trust me, when you get this in the mail, Ryan, yes. Ryan's my dude, bro. Ryan is like one of my number one uh, customers and, and friends of my music. Ryan is a true supporter and I really appreciate that. Uh, so let's go over the artwork here. Okay, so here's the... Oh, by the way, if you haven't figured this out yet, not only is this a picture disc, which most picture discs come um, like in the plastic sleeve. By the way, if you have a picture disc, a lot of my picture discs that I have actually, uh, after all these years, are getting stuck to the plastic or um, there's actually like a film inside the, the plastic sleeves that... that uh, on some of my records I actually rubbed off onto the record and I've had problems playing with the records. I actually had uh, one of my picture discs unfortunately I left my car my, my records in my car and all the other records were fine but the picture disc the plastic melted into the record so for me the picture disc uh, th having picture disc inside of we'll go back to music as a drug here Having a picture disc inside those plastic sleeves for me, I, I'm not feeling it. So I actually decided to put this uh, picture disc inside of a full color jacket. I mean, I wanted to have that canvas as well. Um, you know, the way to look at this uh, project, it is $50. Now, if you look at other picture discs and you look at the number of picture discs that are pressed for bands, etc. like that, this probably is only going to have a hundred copies of this. Now, the reason I say probably is because the way it works is if I get a hundred people to fund it, then we're going to have the project definitely happen. Oh, by the way, another thing too, um, sorry to keep on getting sidetracked here, but you don't have to pay for this record right now. So if you go on the website and you say, Hey, I'm not getting paid till Friday. Or I'm not getting paid now till next week or whatever. You don't have to pay, actually pay for this record until the in 22 days or whatever when it's up then it'll come out of your account so if you want to get this record and money's tight um you know i can definitely appreciate that but you don't actually have to pay for a few more weeks so you have time to save up so here's the front of the jacket now if you look at the music is the drug uh record this is actually different it doesn't have the fragile recording logos on there and it also is a a different angle and it's also zoomed in and the coloring is different excuse me this is a, a different rendering of the record uh when i got the artwork and luckily i saved that over the years um uh 
Okay, hang on one second. Love that jacket too, yeah. The sleeves always split, yep. Okay, here's the cover. Here's the back. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Music is the Drug remixes, this is actually completely like different in the sense that the other one was like inside of like a panoramic frame, the, the background. And also the perspective of the uh, this is a whole different rendering of the artwork completely. So this is the back. There's the A-side vinyl record. These are all mock-ups, by the way, obviously. This is not actually pressed yet. It's going to be pressed after we get it funded. There's the B-side. Here's the A-side with the jacket in the record. Here's the B-side with the jacket in the record. Now, something that I thought was a really cool concept with this is there's no text on any part of this record, on any part of the jacket whatsoever. So the artwork, I look at it as a canvas. You don't want uh, a painting on your wall to have all kinds of writing on it. So this to me is artwork that I hold dear to my heart. And for me, it was important to actually present this artwork without it being uh, manipulated at all, as far as having text over top of it. So when you order the record, you have an email or whatever documentation, maybe print that out or whatever to know in the future what songs are on here. Uh, also, it's maybe kind of cool that in the future, somebody gets this record and they don't even know what the songs are. They gotta go and figure it out with some research. Um, so that's, that's a really cool uh, part of this as well, I think. So anyways, uh, that pretty much wraps it up like i said um i really need you guys to help me out with this project if you're from the this time period uh of electro music and uh, a fan of my music i really strongly suggest that you take a look at this uh project and if you can uh yeah help me out um and go ahead and fund this project because without your help it's not going to happen and it would be a shame uh, to take this project and, and all this, uh, you know, these tracks and this artwork and not make this happen for this to be uh, something that you'll have in the future. Um, the value of it, I would imagine in the next few years is going to increase because of the nature of the rarity of it. And I'm never going to repress this again. Not, not anything like this is going to be repressed. Um, th this particular, these particular songs with this uh, artwork, uh, this will be the only way that you'll be able to get this project and I have a lot of stuff planned the label that this is coming out on is called monotone limited and hopefully if we get this project on point and I don't have to like fight tooth and nail to get this funded until the last minute if we get this funded like in the next week or so and then we get over a hundred let's say we get to 120 130 140 of these then this is going to launch a whole nother label, sub-label of Monotone, where I'm going to be releasing other projects like this. So if you're a vinyl buff, if you're an exact fan, if you're an electro fan, I strongly suggest you take a look at this. This is going to be a very special item. In the world that we live in now that's all digital music, you know, I'm really excited to be able to present something that's tangible, something that you'll be able to hold in your hands, something you'll be able to put on your shelf and something that you'll be able to enjoy for many years to come. And like I said, with your help, we can make this happen. So if you could click on the link, let's go ahead and pull this up here real quick. Um, I do have the links in the chat, but if you're watching this on a replay and I'm pull up these links. So if you go to monotone.us forward slash picture disc, it'll actually bring you to a page on my monotone website that you can go and visit the actual crates website. You can't buy that on there. Hey Brent, how you doing? Um, so 
by the way, this is the only way that you're going to be able to get this record unless you buy it off eBay. And you don't want to do that because it's going to be very expensive. So this is going to be the way that you're going to be able to get a hold of this. Um, let's pull up the website again. So we have 23 days left. And so far, we've had 55 people back this project. Um, by the way, this is going to be sent from Detroit, Michigan. Um, so if you're inside the United States, the shipping is only a few bucks. The price of this is $50. You know, like I said, if you look at picture discs out there, the price, I actually thought the price was pretty fair. We actually talked about having it a little bit more, but I thought $50 is right in the middle of where we needed to be at for something like this. Um, now, something else is this is going to be coming straight from the manufacturer. So after the project is done and the record is pressed, it takes 60 to 90 days to press a vinyl record. After the records are pressed, the pressing plant is actually going to send the records from them to you. So it's not coming to me first and then I'm going to send it out. It's going to be sent. Now, if you want, if this is something that I'm offering to everybody, well, the first thing is, if you order this picture disc and you don't have my digital music, I will send you my entire exact original track discography digitally when you order this completely free. The other thing is if you're a collector and you really want to have this personalized, if you want to send this to me, I'm actually going to have an autograph series of this that's only going to be numbered according to uh, the records that I have. So if you want me to sign it, the, each one that's signed is going to be numbered. So if you if you send it to me or if I see you in if you're in South Florida or come to the South Florida area and you want this signed, I'll meet up with you and I'll sign this and number it. So everybody that gets this record, if you want this personalized, I will gladly do that. So just let me know. Uh, if you do order this and you do back this and you want the digital discography, for free, just send me a message on Instagram or Facebook, and I will gladly send that to you. Like I said, let's make this happen, my people. Please take a look at this project. Please consider getting this. I'm very excited to get this out in the world. Thank you very much for your time, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Peace. What up, Manto? Here, I'll play a little bit of the music for you guys. Thank you, Angelique. Thank you, Ryan. By the way, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know. If you have a question about any of these songs produced or whatever, I'm here. <laughs> What's up? Uh, L1. L1 on Twitch asked me, what year did you make the original track? Okay. Um, 
Well, I have six different tracks on the record. And then also what year I made them as opposed to when they came out is a whole different thing. But Music is the Drug I made in 2000. Uh, from the outside looking in, I actually made in 1999. By the way, some of my gaming friends and uh, other folks that don't know who I am, I'm really sh telling my age right now. <laughs> but that's all good. It's all good. Uh, Electronic Dream came out in 2001. Uh, Clarity I made in 2000, but it didn't actually come out until 2006. Um, Escape came out in 2003. And I think I covered all of them, right? Oh, uh, Beatbox, the song that was never released on vinyl. I made that in 2002, I believe. Hey, David Jansen, how's it going? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm old, but it's all good. Everybody's going to get old. All you young people out there, you're going to get old. It's going to happen. There's nothing to get around it. So, but I feel like I'm a, I'm young at heart. Music keeps me young. Being a producer and a DJ and now part-time gamer keeps me young. Yo, Mike White, what up, man? How you doing, my dude? All right, everybody. So I guess that's it. I mean, I got a lot of people here, but uh, nobody's asking any questions or anything. So I guess that's going to be it. What's good? DJ Super Stretch, you dropped the Boone's. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I played in Boone. North Carolina in 2000. I remember the one thing I remember about that gig is I drove through mountains for a very long time. I don't know. I think Boone is just up in the mountains. Um, and then where I came from, I, it, it was like a, I remember driving in the mountains for like forever. But I remember you, David, of course. Yeah, old. I'm getting older and wiser. And Evolved. Yeah, are you asking about the album Evolved? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. Uh, so Evolved, uh, my, my entire, my entire uh, monotone um, schedule for pressing records and releasing records was completely uh, thrown off by COVID. So at the time uh, that COVID came, I actually had 2000 uh, releases all uh, planned out and Evolved was actually gonna come out at the end of 2020 and I was gonna do a tour. Um, if you're kind of like familiar with uh, music or not, DJs and producers, these days, the way that you make money from your hard work and dedication and, uh, you know, you revolve everything around going and touring. Um, so Evolved, even though uh, we did the crowdfunding campaign for that, and I do have people that uh, actually put towards the crowdfunding campaign and are expecting my new Evolved album, uh, at the same time, I'm going to create that album based on me going and touring so the album is still going to happen and i've worked on it a lot uh i actually have a few songs that i've played um sneak peeks of uh not recently but when i was um you know like when 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 uh before covid came around 
I was uh, documenting the the songs, which I've ha I've worked on new songs since then. I just haven't done any presentation of those tracks. But Evolved is going to 100% happen. Uh, it's just that the um, manufacturing, like for example, if you've noticed or not, my record Nasty Girl, Exact and BFX, has been delayed for a year. So that's actually going to come out at the end of this month, finally. And it, it took one year for the delay of that record that was done over a year ago. Um, so I have the label back on track. Um, the releases are going to be coming back out and evolve. I would say is probably like 80% done. And the goal of evolve now is to have the album done in the next, let's say few months, but it's not going to come out until we're able to figure out with COVID of when people are going to be able to, uh, you know, go out and tour and DJ. So it, when the album's done, we're going to have it planned that we're going to do the tour. And when we're able to tour again, then we'll have the album. Now, if you are waiting for Evolved, um, I've actually offered this to a lot of people that have asked me. I've actually sent records and I've actually sent music to a lot of folks that are waiting for that. And I've made a lot of them, uh, you know, made good on their investment of the crowdfunding campaign. And we're getting all that sorted out. Uh, I have the USBs that were done from that project. I had two vinyl records that came out from that project. Um, so yeah, good question. It's something that bothers me that we haven't had that come out yet, but it's uh, just the nature of the world today that it didn't come out. And there was such a huge delay with, with that. Um, some other some other news. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, be doing a release this Friday on Bandcamp exclusive. It's going to be uh, Exact and BFX EP. It's called International EP, and it's going to have songs that came out uh, on vinyl only projects um, in the past year. Uh, a song called Close, um, a song called Raw, and then another song Give You, which. Uh, Close and Raw came out on labels from Spain and UK and previously they were not uh, available digitally um, so we're actually going to release that and then the Give You song is unreleased and that's going to be released uh, actually Thursday night at midnight Pacific time so 3 a.m. on Thursday going into Friday we're going to have that EP uh, it's like a kind of like a last minute um, something I was just gonna drop and then people were gonna find out about but I'm letting you guys know here first um, if you haven't gone to my band camp go to my band camp because I have all my digital music there so the address of that I'll put on the screen Exact.bandcamp.com. I just released a uh, VIP 22 tracks um, that is uh, re remixes of tracks that I've done over the year, like VIP remixes. If you haven't gotten that, go check that out. Uh, 22 exact tracks, some of my best production that I've ever done, um, like the Headhunter remix, uh, the G6 remix, all that stuff is, and it's all remastered. Um, we, we mastered all that for this project. Uh, some of those songs are older, so we actually went ahead and um, remastered all that. So do you have white labels of the new stuff from Evolve? Uh, I have white labels of Nasty Girl that's coming out at the end of this month. Um, no white labels for Evolved. You're talking about Evolved, the new album. Uh, no white labels of that yet because that's all going to come out on a double album. It's going to be my first album that I'm coming out with. It's going to be a double disc uh, vinyl records with a gatefold artwork and everything. Do you still do live PAs or only spin when things get back to normal? Um, yeah, good question. <laughs> uh, 
I was actually working on a brand new live show. Um, so that's something else uh, with my Evolved album where it took a little bit longer than expected originally because I actually um, started producing on gear, uh, new gear. And that gear was designed to actually go out and play the music live. Um, so as of right now, I do not have a live PA that's set. I'm still working on that. And bring back the double MPC. Wow. <laughs> Damn, dude. You know your you know your exact stuff right there. Yeah, the double MPC, I don't think I'll ever do that again. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. I remember when I f set up, uh, which I have this huge mixer too, the, the old original O2R mixer, which I'm about to update my uh, mixer for studio. Um, but I used to carry this thing out to shows and uh, the guys from Dynamics 2 and Jacqueline Hyde, when they saw my live set for the first time, they were laughing at me. But... They actually gave me credit after they saw my live show because it was really, uh, you know, unique. I actually used to DJ mix my live songs with two drum machines. So I had a mixer in the middle like I was DJing, but I was actually playing my music and I was doing that live. I would I would mix my lives, my songs live, but not on DJing, but actually the gear beat mixing them. But uh, I remember a couple times where I had a little too much to drink and I was carrying all that equipment and especially this mixer, which I think weighs, I don't know the pounds of it, but it weighs probably as much as like two people. So carrying this mixer, uh, a couple times I almost took a spill off the stage. Um, would I ever do that again with my old original songs? I actually thought about it, but there's no immediate plans for that. And then as far as my live show, uh, I want to do eventually do live PAs again, but who knows uh, with the way things are right now, when that's gonna be. Uh, I guess since we're here, you guys are hanging around. I have, uh, by the way, I have so many other projects that I'm working on. Um, I did a live stream a couple weeks ago and I talked about them all and it was just, it was insane because I was sitting there, people heads were frying because of all the different things. Um, you know what I do, you know what I would like to actually talk to you guys about? That's something that's uh, relative to right now. Hang on one second. Okay, um, this is something that I posted a lot of pictures of and talked about. Um, I kind of did a live video of it, but I didn't really do like a live stream like I did for this. I really should do it uh, for this other project, which is my monotone custom turntables that were designed uh, with Joel Gray from Tonic Slab which he specializes in doing custom turntables. And we worked on this for literally a year to get this right. So I'm actually gonna uh, pick up this turntable and show you guys this and show you how amazing this is. So just give me one second. Triple X in dirty. Hey, what up?
So this is the monotone turntable. Actually, what I might be able to do is turn the camera onto it. Actually, I'm gonna put it on this other camera that's better quality. Hopefully I don't drop this thing. All right, that didn't really work out too well. Um, anyways, if you uh, are interested, I actually have uh, the turntables, like really awesome pictures of them. There's only 10 of these that are being made. So if you're in the market for custom uh, Technique 1200 MK2s, hit me up because these are collector items. They're actually um, modified, uh, they're refurbished. And they're like enhanced to a whole nother level of quality. The logo, the monotone logo on there is actually laser etched. So, uh, and, the, and the paint that's used on it is Cerakote. So uh, the tone arm, all that stuff, even like little details like the, oh, the little 45 guy. This is painted in Cer Cerakote, is that the, that's what it's called like the paint that they do they paint guns with <clears throat> all right so the last thing i'm gonna go over here uh but yeah you guys are hanging out so i didn't plan on going this long but if you guys are hanging out then i'm hanging out too oh wow <laughs> yo uh so ill one on twitch just asked me will you ever do another electro alliance possibly on discord or something like that Uh, let me see. How can I tease this? I'm not going to get into it uh, that much, but I am just going to show you this. I just did this just now. And there's a reason. I just posted this on my Facebook, and there's a reason for it. So put two and two together. You asked me if there's ever going to be another Electro Alliance forum. And then I'm pulling up this right here. Coming soon. All right. So this is the, the, the last thing I'm going to go over. Okay, this Friday, uh, the only way that you could buy this song, let me grab it. I can't explain to you guys how uh, awesome it's been, uh, even though vinyl records to press and release and send out and all that stuff, vinyl records is like a real labor of love. But the satisfaction that you get out of having a tangible product is so worth it. Like having an MP3 and having a digital release, um, very rarely is it something that's really satisfying and i don't know how to explain it to you it's just that people 
uh, the, the consumption of an MP3 is a split second. And it doesn't really have a shelf life. Now, if you make a song that's, uh, you know, that makes a mark and a lot of DJs play it and it gets being charted and stuff like that digitally, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nice. And then it'll stay in uh, people's playlists and stuff like that. A lot of times it won't. Because the way that music is these days, it just, it comes and goes. So digital, it's really hard to get a satisfaction as an artist because you really don't see the result of, uh, you know, what you're trying to do with, when you're sharing your music. A lot of times you're sharing your music because you want to impact people uh, in a way that you're impacted by music. At least a lot of the people that I produce with and I hang around that's what we're doing. There's a lot of people that are doing music for a lot of other reasons. And don't get me wrong, there are other reasons that I enjoy making music and releasing it and DJing and stuff like that. But the main thing about it for me is the enjoyment of being able to share something with somebody and impact them the way that you're impacted by somebody else that's sharing something with you and vice versa, if that makes sense. So this song right here is exact and BFX close. This is a really nice, look at that, it matches my jacket. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way, but it just worked out. Yeah. Anyways, this record came out a uh, year or something ago. Um, it's actually various artists. This is only 80 copies of this record, by the way. And I have like a handful of copies left over. And I might part with one if you really want to grab this record. Uh, it's like double the price that it was when it came out on eBay already. But this song that's playing right now is Exact and BFX Close. Here, let me play it a little bit. All this damn talking. Okay, so the only way you could get this track is to buy that pink record. But this Friday on Bandcamp, exclusive to exact.bandcamp.com, that's on the screen right there, we're going to have this track. It's Exact and BFX International EP. And at the end of the month, we're going to have the Nasty Girl EP come out. So we're going to be hitting you guys hard with these releases. Lauren Chilson on YouTube said, I had this vinyl, music is the drug. Nice. Very, very nice. Well, you need to get the picture disc now. Click on that link to check it out. It actually has more music than music is the drug. And uh, it's full color jacket and the uh, picture disc. Check it out, Lauren. Appreciate you coming by and saying hi. And I'm glad that you have the original music is the drug record. That's awesome. This is Exact and BFX Raw. This came out on a label from England called Hearse. Let me grab that and show you guys that.
so that came out uh, I think I don't know like a few months ago or maybe a year ago I can't remember um but I don't I, I'm not really 100% sure but I'm pretty sure that they didn't release it digitally so it's a vinyl only record um, but this you'll be able to get it on our band camp uh, exact band camp and then BFX will have it on his band camp as well a um, little bit different vibe than most of the exact and BFX stuff By the way, Mike White, thank you for the like. David Jansen, thank you for the like. Sean Malika, thank you for the like. I'm not getting these notifications. William McGee, thank you for the like. I'm not getting these notifications on my stream for whatever reason, but I appreciate you guys coming by. Everybody that's in the chat right now, hope you're enjoying your Wednesday afternoon. I really appreciate you guys coming by the stream, showing love, talking in the chat. I want to do these more often and uh, getting the positive feedback and energy from you guys is making me definitely wanting to do, keep doing these a little bit more often. And I'm going to start doing some DJ sets too. Um, if you're not following my Twitch yet, if you could go do that. Let me pull up some stuff here. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. My Twitch is right there, Exact Official. Please add me on Twitch. And if you don't have Twitch, download it. And trust me, you want to have that on your uh, phone or computer because Twitch is going to be a way that a lot of DJs are going to be getting their sets out now because Facebook is really making it more difficult. Twitch is making it more difficult to do music also, but not DJ mixes live afterwards they'll mute it etc but they don't mess with a lot of underground music they more commercialize stuff so this is exact and bfx raw coming out this friday on bandcamp i'm gonna play one more sneak peek of a track for you guys and then we're gonna wrap it up i've hung out way longer than i was going to and i love it thank you guys for coming by i really appreciate everybody sticking around this is a very um, rough version of the song. It's not completely done, but we'll give you a little sneak peek of it. Uh, where is the thing at? Let me find this. Warzone. Yeah, Andrew, I'm coming, on, I'm coming to Warzone. If you guys don't know, whoa, what's this blurry stuff? Um, if you're interested, I actually stream, uh, I do live streams of gaming. I play a, a game called Call of Duty Warzone. It's like a battle royale game, and I've been doing it ever since COVID. It's like a side passion. Uh, but I stream that almost, uh, I stream that every night, actually. So if you ever wanna come by and say hi, and ask me about music or talk about whatever, I talk to people that come by, so if you want to drop in and say what's up and maybe see a little entertainment, uh, my page is uh, Dirty Larry, um, Dirty Larry Gaming with a U, so just send me a message if you want to check it out or just go and look it out on my uh, main page and you'll see me post stuff about it all the time. Okay, so this is the third song, this is unreleased. This is Exact and BFX. This is a song called Give You. And this is going to come out on Friday on the International EP. It's a three-track EP. The two songs that I just played are going to be on there. And this is going to be on there. Kind of like a last-minute surprise release. I was actually just going to drop it. And then people will find out about it later. Like one of those type of deals. 
But since you guys are here and we're friends, went ahead and told you guys about the project. So check it out. Bass Boomin with the follow on Twitch. Appreciate you, Bass Boomin. Partition Manto on Twitch is asking me what was your first what was your first synth? Coolin, X triple X Coolin. You like this? Okay. A little bit different from Exact and BFX. Usually we do kind of like electro bass. Um I like it too. Put up some flashy EQs and lights on here. I should have did it before. Mike White with the follow on Twitch. Thank you, my bro. Mike White. Funny story about Mike White. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be a PC uh, correct story, but I'm going to tell it anyways because I think it's funny. So uh, a friend of mine, Jared, he used to always... You know, he used to actually MC for some of my shows, and uh, he always wanted to get Mike White on the list. So I put Mike White on the list about 50 times, and for some reason, I never met Mike White. So we're at a party, and then uh, somehow, finally, I get to meet Mike White, and yep, it's a black dude. So it was kind of weird. Mike White, Mike White. You thinking Mike White, Mike White? I don't know. Kind of a stupid story, but whatever. Okay, so that's the exact in BFX. Uh, Mike White is my man, by the way. He's always supporting my music, and I appreciate that, my dude. King of Cod, LOL, yeah. It was, it was, it was kind of a funny story. Um, anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys coming by the stream. It's been an awesome, uh, how long we've been on here? hour and a half doesn't seem like it's been that long uh big shout out to king of cod big shout out to triple x coolin big shout out to mike white bass booming appreciate you guys with the likes uh the follows on twitch uh andrew thanks for coming by lauren l1 everybody thanks for coming by the stream thanks for asking questions thanks for giving me the vibes and the energy and like I said, if you could, let's go over this one last time. 
so you guys know what time it is. After all these projects and everything I'm talking about, this is the main one that we want to get going here. This is the crowdfunding campaign. Monotone.us forward slash picture disc or... Uh, if you look at the chat, if you can see back, I actually put the links. I'll put the links again here in a second. Check out this picture disc project. Super excited. Super, super, super excited about this picture disc project. And everybody out there, I really need you guys to come through. We have 55, 56 now. So we've had one person back this this is a crowdfunding project so it's not going to happen unless you guys make it happen so let me know what time it is if you guys are going to support this i really appreciate it go and check out the link check out the music dj poochie d with the follow on twitch we got 23 days left and i'm not very good at math but i think we need 44 more people to get behind this like I said, let's get let's make this happen like in the next week or two. I don't want this to be a last minute thing. If it becomes like a last minute thing, stressful, I probably won't do these anymore. But if we get this funded and we, you know, get it get the ball rolling on this project and I feel like we can, you know, do it for another one. I have some other projects that I'm really excited about. Uh, one of them, just to throw a couple of them out there for the Monotone Limited record label, is to do Alpha Omega as a double LP record with all the songs from the album um, on on the record for it to be a gatefold. Yes, Mike. Yeah, great tracks on this picture disc for sure. Um, so Alpha Omega is full with uh bangers like subsonic bass second wave speaker breaker um so if we did uh you know do some more of these limited it would be on colored vinyl and it would be full color jacket gatefold which actually i really wanted to come out with the record like that but at the time financially doing a double record with a gatefold and all that stuff and colored vinyl is very expensive. So that's why we're bringing it into the crowdfunding realm so we can afford to do these projects. Um, I also have the deconstructed uh, project, which this is really exciting if you kind of like take a look at this to think about this. So I want to do a double record of this. Um, if you're familiar with this, this is Deconstructed. This is a release that I just put out uh, not too long ago. It's 29 tracks. It's all remixes of Exact. So we have um, Bryce Kelly remix, Data Wave remix, Vima, Vima Diodes remix, Audio Botch remix. Uh, Gucci Bass, EMS, Hydraulics, Alpha 606, Dynamic Bass System, Dextrosis, Boris Divider, Uprock, Debonair, 214, Lethal Agent, Freak Force Crew, Enter, Analog to Future, Test, uh, Blim, DOH, Evo. Like, think about, you know, hand selecting these songs to be put on a double EP, uh, double LP. So, you know, some of these, like the dynamic bass system remix of Speaker Breaker has never been out on vinyl. So having this on wax, uh, the Clarity song that never came out on vinyl, the Clarity remix, Lethal Agent, that, that was on the Dave Clark Fabric CD. Clarity remix by Lethal Agent. Uh, what else? This is a new Transfusion remix by Bryce Kelly. It's an analog future 
to Future remix of No Disco. I love this remix. Such a killer remix. Imagine this spinning on the turntable. So, lots of other cool ideas. So let's make this one happen first, and then we can make some of these other happen. Colored vinyl. I want to have every color vinyl in the rainbow on my wall of records that I've pressed. And with your help, we can make it happen. I love doing these special projects. And like I said, everybody, thank you for coming by the stream. And we're going to be doing this again soon with some more new projects. Catch you guys.